are you? Very much so. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode uh, of me. the Giga Hub me. Weekly Show. I told you I was ready. <laughs> uh, I hope okay. you had an awesome Thanksgiving. Ours was right, great. Right. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Mother, I'm just now, now let's get on to the real holiday, which is Christmas. Okay. Before we go on any further, let's, uh, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. We now ship. Yes. So if you want something awesome from our store, where can they go? CosmicComics.Vegas or CosmicComicsLV.com. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, just make sure you search Cosmic Comics Las Vegas. You'll, it'll get you to the website. <laughs> right, yeah. One way or the other. And, you can, um, and, yeah, and if you can't be here or if you don't want to show up for whatever right, right. reason... You can find it there, have it shipped, no right. problem. And Easy if you want to buy the holiday, if you want to buy Christmas, you better do that soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Cause, it's because we're not, you know, we're not, we're not a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar corporation. Exactly. Yeah, so we don't have the post office in our pockets, or, 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 or our own shipping. Yep. Or right. manpower. Too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. get. So if you want it in time for Christmas, All get right. it soon. Things like guys, what do you got? Oh, you both have the, the almost the same thing. Uh, look at that. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. I have are you, are you, is this hints for what you guys want for Christmas? <laughs> is, is this what I'm looking Maybe. at? Maybe. Oh, boy. This is uh, Godzilla vs. Mecha. Or Godzilla Whoa. Versus King Ghidorah. 1991. Um, 1991. This um, is. Artwork go- by Norai Oriashi. I always yeah. forget his name. Ah, uh, yes. He's an amazing artist. Yep. Did a lot of art for the Haste era and yeah. Metal Gear Solid. And he also did a Mad Max 2 poster that is so amazing. Yep. And this is a. Gojira, 1954 poster, and I actually have this on my wall. Nice. What do you got? Same with that one. I have, uh, because of our topic today, I have this cool comic book short box of the Batman right here. Yeah. Drawn by Jim Lee. Drawn by Jim yeah, Lee. There you go. Drop it down. There it is. Drop yeah. it. Drop it like it's hot. There it is. Nice. Dinner you know, alive. You're coming with is. me. I mean, my gosh. Yep. Oh, that's a definitely cool. a Batman line. <laughs> right, right. Uh, anyway, you can get all this stuff and more uh, uh, right here at the store, or you can right. order from the website. Uh, just make sure to do it soon before Christmas so you can get it on time. I don't even know if we want to ship those boxes. <laughs> that's got to be weird. Anyway, go ahead. I don't tell them that we'll you don't want to ship we'll, it We'll on. try. Anyway, if not, then they're here for you guys to pick right. up for sure. Cosmic Comics. Uh, talk to our knowledgeable staff. They'll be able to help you out with whatever you may need. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's get yes. into it. Today's right. subject, we're going to be talking about movies. movies, well, specifically superhero movies that are not based on comic books. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. All right. Who would like to start, gentlemen? You can go first. You want me? Okay. Well, I'm going to go with, now, to be fair, <laughs> um, I have a feeling this, this is, is a scheme and of is some kind. Not, it is and is not based on a comic book, and I'm going to talk about RoboCop. <laughs> Oh. One of my favorite movies of all time. It it's is a, one of my favorite I movies. Thought, Childhood uh, classic. I thought we were going to talk about Robert Cop 2. Robert Cop 2. <laughs> Robocop. Now, when I say it is and isn't based on a comic book, for those of you who don't know, well, let me just Robocop. I mean, if you haven't seen it by now, I'm right. not spoiling anything. It is just a great movie. It's directed by the great Paul Verhoeven. Yes. You're who, a bad person. Who, and, who is and a master satir- sat- 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 satirist. Satirist. Yes. Yeah, Jesus. Like, um, <laughs> just watch Starship um, Troopers or any of his other movies. Yeah, and uh, and Robocop is no exception. It is just great. Um, it's very heroic, yet also poking fun and poking meanly <laughs> at certain aspects <laughs> seems of to be what he's good especially at, yeah. American society. Yep. Um, however, I loved it when I was a kid. In ca- oh, yeah, I still love that movie. Yep. In case you don't know, though, RoboCop is sort of an adaptation of Judge Dredd. <laughs> so uh, yes. it's not uh, entirely yes. not based on a comic book, but we found out that this is a very hard topic, actually, to, to find. Actually, I think, Aunt Tony, you have the winner. To be honest, because he that's did not, as, that's soon as, not he, as soon as he, he picked his, I was, I was like, like dang, "Dang it, it. you got yeah. the good one." You got the good one, yeah. Everything else is somewhat based on something else that was a comic book. I think I don't. Um, mine's not based on anything. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and if you don't know, Judge Dredd is a British comic book that's actually a, also a satire. A satire on America. It's actually Dirty Harry in the future. Yep. That's quite mm, literally what it yeah. is. Um, and he's not heroic in any way. <laughs> right. um, you know, the irony of that being that uh, the the later movie, Dread, 
which is a great film, <laughs> yes, is not really like the comic which book. Which one, the Stallone version the, or the... No. Judge Dredd, the Stallone version, is actually more like the actual comic book. In terms of how it portrays Mega City 1. The biggest mistake it makes is it makes Dredd a heroic character, and that was, yeah. never, that was never the intent. Yeah, it's he's like, always like... It's the, like he's just follow, Yeah, he's following he's, yes. orders. He's yeah. not really heroic. He's... Yep. He's the moment... Doing he, what's necessary. The yeah, moment yeah. he removed his helmet, yeah, yeah. That, that kind of was when so, it killed him for me. And I, you know, don't fault Stallone for that, because yeah. he fought to keep it more like the comic book and at the end of the day they said we're paying for you and your face so So anyway back to um, back to Robocop just just a great flick um, it's all about corporate greed and the little yes. man and it was the 80s yeah so, it was yeah. the 80s yeah long hair long hair yeah <laughs> cocaine <laughs> wow yeah that's true it was the 80s uh, that's true yeah cold um, war so watch it yeah, uh, that's all I got. I buy that. Who for almost cyberpunky, right? Who wants to Kinda? go second? You want to go last because yours is really good. You should okay. go last. All right, you go. Right, you go last. Uh, I will go. Last. I will go next. Uh, the movie I have chosen is from 2004. It is a movie from Hong Kong Ooh. called uh, Stars Michelle Yeoh. It's called. Oh, I know. It's yeah, called yeah. Silver Hawk. <laughs> nice. Have you seen Silver Hawk? Yeah. Uh, Most people have not seen uh, Silver Hawk. Silver I Hawk haven't. is. Uh, she's basically. Batman, yeah, yeah, uh, just less gadgets. <laughs> um, uh, so and more, and more Michelle Yeoh, <laughs> and more Michelle Yeoh. I love Michelle Yeoh. So uh, basically, the premise of Silverhawk is that uh, there is a person who uh, there is a uh, a doctor who made a, a prof- I'm sorry, an inventor who invented a computer that is supposed to run your life for you. And his vision of this being that the robot basically tells you what to do because the robot can tell you. Or the AI, I should say, can tell you what's best for you. For you, yeah. Um, and, of course, the big discussion there being like, okay, whatever, but I know what's best for me, or I should be able to make my decisions for me and not have the robot do it. Um, of course, that goes into the wrong hands, as it <laughs> usually would. No. Uh, and it's up to Michelle Yeoh as the Silver Hawk to Silver try to stop it. There's a lot. <laughs> this is a good movie because yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of action. If you want like an action-packed movie, That's good, yeah. it's a great movie. Damn. There's There's like... It's funny, yeah. right? The premise is not super complicated. It's it's almost yeah. just about any futuristic premise. I made a robot. Oh no, robot go bad, or or robot, or robot, or robot yeah. used for bad. I, sh- I keep saying robot. I should say AI. Um, and she she just basically kicks so much ass. Uh, yeah. She just runs around like Hong Kong is like hey Hong Kong movies Batman. are awesome. Yeah, Hong Kong movie. There's this whole like early two thousand, especially uh, like the nineties. Yeah, yeah late yeah nineties yeah, early two thousands like Hong Kong action movies are like yeah just, primo Hong Kong yeah. action. Just look like at City Hunter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, City on Fire. Anybody? Uh, I would definitely. Recommend that you check it out. Honestly, yeah. Michelle Yeoh is so fantastic. And it, the movie, the yeah. whole cast is great, but if you want like straight up action, this is the movie. And it's like crazy action too. She fights people with cybernetic like yeah. arms and legs, and ah, it's just it's it's a crazy Hong Kong action movie. And I I totally recommend that you find it and watch it for nice. sure. Okay, nice. Ooh. I can't believe you've seen it. I I didn't think yeah. I, I uh, most people it. who I've talked well, to have not seen it. Yeah, I think years ago you were telling me about it, and I'm like, yeah, I kept seeing it. I think it was on Netflix or something. Mm. I said I got to check it out one of these days. Well, I finally did. <laughs> so oh, okay, as yeah. opposed to me who did who never watched Red Line whenever right, you told right. me to watch yeah. Red Line. Yeah, see, I'm a, see, I'm a terrible friend, right. and I'm sorry. All right, Tony. So. All right, so here we go. Warm up. Got to stretch a little bit for this and one. Th- and this one should Ooh. be well known to Western audiences, especially at least in the '90s. I would like to see this one team up with Silver Hawk in a movie, but that would be crazy. it. Probably would never happen. <laughs> Dark Man. Dark Man. One yeah. of my favorite movies ever made by Damn. Sam Raimi. Liam Neeson, yeah. Liam, Liam Neeson going bonkers. Yeah, Liam Neeson in, before an earlier, taking... <laughs> in an earlier role before he became really big. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, like, he was definitely on his way up, but he was I think uh, most of the people who worked on this were that, right? Sam Raimi, this was before Sam Raimi hit with Spider Man. Yep. It? This is... Yeah, but it was after Army of Darkness. Yes. This mm. is the bridge between. So he had already had a pretty solid. It's, it's like that transitional yep. phase. Right, right. Transition between Evil Dead and Spider Man. And my God, it's like one of the best. It's great. It's yeah, the it best is horror-ish great. superhero movie ever. Like, yeah, it has horror aspects. The he, cinematography. He is a tortured hero. Yes. Yeah, for sure. The, the cinematography, the way the camera just zooms up oh, and yeah. everything, and you like can, close up shots and 
he, pretty he, much everything. You can definitely see where his Spider-Man came from, like some of the cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. And Danny Elfman has doing the soundtrack. Right. Oh, yes. Here's oh. A, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say after you're done talking about it, Morgan, because I, I, I have and a really Dark sad Man thought about two, this movie. Which was also good. I don't mm-hmm. think he directed it, though. No. He? Yeah, he you guys, what about Dark Man 3? Die, Dark Man, die. I didn't see that I, one. I, I also didn't, didn't see that one. I, I remember that. Dark Man 2 was pretty good. It wasn't as good as the first one, but I remember liking it. Um... Good villains. Villains yeah. are general. Oh yeah, the guy douchebags. <laughs> yeah, the guy. Oh, what is his name? Westlake, Doctor Westlake, right? No, well, yeah, that's Darkman, but I meant the bad guy. Um, oh, Larry. The Larry Drake played him. Yeah. Um, he was the guy. Before that, he was known. He played like a mentally disabled janitor on like L.A. Law or something like that. So he like really he wasn't in a lot, and he was only known to kind of be this simpleton. And then he played. Um, I got his name is I can't think. In Darkman, yeah, uh, what his name is, but Larry Drake plays him, and he's just a great bad guy. He's like, wow, this guy's great. Yeah, yeah. Right. and he was only on Durant, TV, but Durant, 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 yeah. Durant, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, it's so good. Excellent stunt and action scenes, especially the helicopter scene. I'm like, oh right. my god. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, yeah, I, this is one of those movies where you're just like, oh man, you you you, you don't have a lot to work with, it, but you made it work, and yes. it still was so good. And it's a lot of crazy composite shots, yeah. so it's really pre CGI, especially when they zoom in into Liam Neeson's yeah. face and eyes. Right, and right, <laughs> yeah, a lot of crazy composite pre CGI. Oh. You know, maybe they did use some CGI to clean it up, maybe, but right. I mean, this was this was still pretty early, and when CGI was really expensive, and who yeah. could, who could so. forget? The Dark Man is not a high budget film. Yeah. <laughs> the great pink elephant scene. <laughs> right. Yeah. Of course. I said, give me the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> he prints the guy's finger and it just zooms into each yeah, of their faces. Snap. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. I, I, look at, I look at the movie by Sam Raimi, especially Dark Man, and, yeah. and essentially Sam Raimi's Spider Man trilogy. And I look at this, the way it's shot, the soundtrack, I'm like, this is how every superhero movie should be. <laughs> yeah. And it's I think super yeah. dynamic, fun. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> crazy the yep the hero is definitely tortured he wants to do the right thing but he definitely he, has he's, he, he because of what happens to him he can't yes he can't sense the world he can't feel the world in the same way so his emotions sometimes get a little out of control yeah <laughs> i think this should be like if you're gonna make like a superhero movie Right, like you need to like sit down and watch Dark Man, yeah, and just kind of yeah. see how it's like, like how good it could be. Yeah, because it takes. It's weird because it takes a lot of the styles that like Kirby was known for and Stan Lee was actually yeah. known for, and it puts them together in such a great way. Mm-hmm. Now here's the like, sad. Yeah. Here's what makes me sad about that movie. Yeah. That movie is good. People love it, yeah. which means it's only a matter of time before they remake it. Yeah. No, well, I think Raimi owns the rights. So, oh okay. yeah? yeah, good. good. Oh, I'm pretty good. sure he owns the rights. Okay, but I, cool. I could be wrong. Okay, if, 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 I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I would riot if there was a remake <laughs> of it. That, you guys, though, but uh, hold on, uh, you're not thinking of the possibilities here if they remake this movie. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is Dark Man. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Dwayne uh, the Rock Johnson is Durant. <laughs> Guys, come on. Okay, I could, I would rather, I'd rather as long the, as he wears the hat from Jungle Cruise. <laughs> the the pith the, helmet? No, right? the, little the, pith stupid, helmet? the little stupid uh, Humphrey Bogart hat. I would oh, okay. The uh, uh, fedora? Is no, fedora? it's like a little It's like a little boat captain hat. It's oh, like okay. really, it's bad. It's, it's silly. I'd rather see Tim Shamal as a villain and Dwayne the Rock Johnson as Dark Man, if that's the case. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you just have a fight where like the Rock just decimates right, Timothy right. Chalamet? I, I before I say this, yeah. let me just say I love The Rock, yeah. but he's starting to show his age. Oh, he is boy. no kid. Uh-huh. Yeah. He is no kid. He's not. In he's WWE in great shape, anymore, right. but he's looking he's old. He's a very big old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's looking old. So, sorry, Dwayne. Don't hit okay, me. But don't d- hit me. But Durant doesn't have to be a young guy. I'm just rock. saying. What's that? Oh, are we still talking about Durant? Is are we still talking no, I about think Larry Drake? The, should the, come the Rock is. Larry Drake needs to come back. That guy was great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dark man. Doctor Giggles. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's the evil serial killer dentist. <coughs> <coughs> this, yeah, he is dead. Sorry, did, did he did away? die. Oh, yeah, oh. twenty sixteen. Holy I didn't shit. know that. Yeah. Oh. So well, Dwayne the Rock Johnson has to play Durant. Right, yeah, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, Dark Man. Yeah. One of the reasons why I was hyped for Sam Raimi to direct Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness, if it's anything like Dark Man, but unfortunately, from what I've heard. Sam Raimi is going through the same 
things that happened to him in production with Spider-Man 3. Basically, Disney is making him do reshoots and rewrites. I'm like, oh, it's the same God. reason why it's the same reason why Edgar Wright walked away from it. <sighs> yeah. Yes, because they said, hey, you can make your movie, and then he started to make his movie, and then they said, oh, you're gonna put this in, and he goes, I thought it was my movie. Yes, and they said, well, oh, you, no, you no, can it do is, this, it is your movie. We you just can do this. Well, a little bit, a little and bit. this is why I love Edgar Wright. He said, no, yeah. yeah, okay, I'm out. Well, he doesn't. What? Need, well, that's the thing about Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright doesn't need to do a Marvel movie. Well, did you ever hear he talked about that where he said he thought, like, oh, this is my ticket. I get to make my passion project, which was Baby Driver, mm-hmm. and he, I'll get to do Ant Man. It'll be a huge thing, and it'll really, you know, help my career. Mm-hmm. And then, and I'll get to make Baby Driver. And then he walked away, and he said it was hard to do, but he had to have his keep his integrity intact yeah. so kudos to you yeah and then he got to make baby driver anyway which is a yeah. fantastic movie yes I mean, baby any driver. movie he's made has just been ah, good he doesn't yep. have a bad movie yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, anyway we're yeah. not talking about yeah edgar wright we should do a whole episode on edgar wright oh yeah um so on, on starting s- with space <laughs> so continuing with sam raimi man if sam raimi directed spider-man no way home Imagine the ticket sales in that. I don't even care about that. Yeah. Oh, anyway. I, I would love <laughs> to see Raimi. the new Spider-Man do the yeah. emo dance. It'll be great. We're strutting down the street. Yes. Well, anyway, we're going to keep Dark this Man. short. It yeah. is our post, post-Thanksgiving show. We're still full of turkey and mashed potatoes. Right. Mm. Right, right. Hey, but you could like watch these movies now. Why the heck not? Yeah, so have yourself, after you watch a few episodes of MST3K or throw on some riff tracks, or you could actually the Mads are back because yeah. they're amazing and they're, they're much darker and more cynical. You could actually watch it. Dark Man and Hulu. And then... And then watch Dark Man and Robocop and uh, Silver Hawk. Silver Hawk. And Minutemen. Yeah. Men. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And, and let's petition for a Silver Hawk Dark Man team up movie. No, because if Silver Guys, Hawk it'll be get, great. No. If Silver Hawk gets popular, you know that they're gonna have to do an American an remake. American remake. Like oh, what happened ew. to Train to Busan. And it's gonna blow. Oh, it's gonna blow hard, isn't it? Train to Busan, more like Subway to New York. Uh, uh, Did uh, they uh, make it Train to Busan? No, it, it's gonna be called Subway to New York. Yes. That sounds like a stupid title. Right, I would well, make up for I, a joke. I, I, but anyway. Unfortunately, it looks like we're ending this episode yep. on a down yeah. note. <laughs> Before we go, guys, any plugs? Oh, plugs, yeah. plugs. Who's got the plugs? Tight. Dun, Toku oh, Titan. Toku dun, Titan cast. Dun, 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 who are they? Tell us about them. It's me, Titan Goji, Sean Berry, who owns a YouTube channel called Shots of Japanese Cinema. You should nice. check that out. He just recently made a video about the films that inspired Hideaki Anno. Nice. Cool guy. Shorter than me, I could whoop his butt at G Fest. Wow! And yeah. Oh, wow! Ooh. He threw down. Da- he threw down. He threw down, man. I can't. I can't the even watch. The gauntlet has been. This placed. is going to be a Dragon Ball Z esque fight uh, to the finish. T Public slash Go Fenris or Oddity Collectibles. Check it out. Check it out. That's all I got. Uh, I have uh, an OnlyFans now. <laughs> uh, I launched it a couple weeks ago. Right. So guys, if you want premium content of me reading uh, uh, English literature. Like the guy with from, my clothes on. Like the guy from Gamers who controlled uh, Cable's wife. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be reading. I'm gonna <laughs> but be in reading. His shirt, he'll yeah. Be I'm gonna be shirt. reading uh, classic literature. I will be oiled up though. So if that interests you, you know, just come on down. If you're just a literary buff, you can just. You don't even have to watch. Just listen. You know. Uh-oh. Nothing weird. Uh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to have to take it all the way. No. We'll talk about it after the yeah. show. Anywho, guys, Peace thanks so a, much for joining us. Uh, have yep. a good night, and we'll see you. We're going to help Tony with his later. wardrobe malfunction. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. take care, everybody. Take care. Bye. Okay. Come here.